It was a Friday on August 5th. I remembered the date because it was also my mom's birthday that day. I woke up to a peaceful morning, cold aircon on, snuggled into my warm blanket, feeling very satisfied with my sleep. Which was weird because this was a weekday. I opened my phone and the clock showed 10.15. And that's when the moment of realization hit me. I've overslept. Classes are over at 10. So anyway, here's what I did instead. I went out and dropped lunch at Kura Sushi. It was good. It's in Sangjiang Nanjing in case anyone wants to go. Me and Tanya video called mom and wish her happy birthday. She doesn't know we overslept today a lot. Then we went to Don Park. There's a warmth in your face that's familiar. And out of nowhere I'm spilling my secrets to you. You're made of safety with sprinkles of danger. I think I'm falling in love with a stranger, but I... I'm normally not a morning person. My default productive setting is at night. But you know, it never feels good when you end up waking up late at 10. Unless it's the weekends, obviously. Cause to me, it always ends up making me feel super lazy and unproductive. Which is the opposite of the feel good energy I want to feel. And so that's why I decided to sign up for the earliest class. Because then I'd have to force myself to wake up early and slowly start to change my habit of sleeping in late. At least that's the plan. I think it's solid enough. Yeah. Adding to the fact that there's still so much potential in how you can spend your day that just the thought of going back home to sleep in the afternoon feels like such a waste of good daylight time. For instances, you can go spend time anywhere in the city. Go eat lunch with friends. Take up part-time work if you're able to for the extra pocket money. Maybe even play a few rounds of chess. You can even go practice speaking in Mandarin by ordering meals. Then probably go to the library and do homework so you won't have to do it at home. Sign up and try out a short culture class. You know, because of curiosity. Go bike. Or just simply chill and eat at the cafe beside the school. In short, I think how you spend your day matters most by going on short spontaneous adventures, spending quality time with friends, and trying new experiences. I suppose when lived that way, the mundane daily life can feel more interesting and fun. It doesn't have to be anything grandiose, really. Anyone can be tired of doing too much. So, you know, if you really need to rest, you should go do that. God knows you need it. God knows even maybe I need it. Because really, I do be lacking self-control with my phone a lot of times and end up sleeping in very late. Anyway, peace out.